Hi, I'm Jesse Eisenberg with the JDE Law Firm. I'm a business litigation attorney, which means that my business is to protect your business. Today I want to talk about what happens if you want to amend the complaint after you receive a default judgment. So first I want to say that if you have any questions about what you're about to hear, you'd like to talk about your business, or you think you have a potential case, all you have to do is go to meetjde.org to book a consultation with me. Also, please like and subscribe to my channel and uh, put any questions or comments down below. Now, the reason I'm bringing up uh, this issue is I had someone reach out to me and wanted to know this exact question. She had gotten a default judgment, but she wanted to amend the complaint and she wanted to know if and how and what she could do when it comes to that. So here's what happens. When you have a default judgment, that means you hold someone to default, they didn't show up, right? And you haven't proven your damages yet meaning how much money you're owed. So you're gonna have what's called an inquest, which is like a mini trial. The other side usually won't be there if they're in default. And you prove how much money you're owed, and then you'll get a judgment for that amount. So what do you do though if you want to amend the complaint after you receive the default? Now, for the sake of this, I'm gonna assume you just don't wanna like, charge an extra ten dollars or something something simple right most times we do a complaint anyways it's that you owe about twenty thousand dollars you you're owed about a hundred thousand dollars right so it's something like that you could probably fit it in with the original complaint but if you found out they stole equipment or they owe you find out it goes from a hundred thousand to a million dollars something like that or there's a whole new cause of action that you want to go after you have to re you can amend the complaint, but if you want to get a judgment on the amended parts, you're gonna to have to reserve the complaint, which basically throws the default out the window. So, and in this case, the defendant was trying to come back into the case. She didn't want to, this person didn't want to let them in, but they wanted to amend the complaint, and you can't do that. So you're gonna to have to amend the complaint. You're gonna to have to serve them or let them into the case and then amend because you can only go for a default on what you serve them on, meaning you serve a summons and complaint. That's how you uh, that's how you bring them into the lawsuit. So you can't change what you've defaulted them on. Right? If they've never seen the amended complaint, if they've never been served with the amended complaint, you're not gonna be able to amend it without opening up that default for them. So this just answers the question, what happened, or can you amend the complaint after a default? If you have any questions about what you just heard, you wanna discuss a potential case in the future, or you just wanna talk about your business, please go to meetjde.org to set up a consultation with me. Once again, like and subscribe to my channel to get more content like this in the future, and please put any comments or questions down below. Once again, I'm Jesse David Eisenberg with the JDE Law Firm. I'm a business litigation attorney, which means that my business is to protect your business. Thanks for watching and listening.